Hi folks, it's Joni with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do a random reading for the 20th of March. I always say this, and I'll say it again, these are general readings. If they resonate with you, that's great, and if they don't, maybe next time. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info will be in the box below. Um, I do readings within 24 hours of contact. So whether you email me or give me a shout on the phone, we'll set something up and it'll be done very quick. Also, if you'd like to learn tarot, I do have tarot card classes. There are five videos plus a bonus video. Um, and I coach throughout the whole thing. So if you ever get stuck, give me a shout. And also my mystery healing boxes. Large, medium, small. I got the travel box as well. I have the new open face boxes. Beautiful. So again, give me a shout if you're interested. Whoa, so first one out is the world card in reverse. Now in the upright, this is a cycle completing something tying up. But in the reverse, there's something that's ongoing. Something has not come full circle yet. Hmm. The cycle hasn't ended. Could be with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or an air-like person. This person's very clear, direct, focused. His emotions were in the back seat. So, you know, no warm, squishy feelings <laughs> with the King of Swords or like person. He means what he says. He says what he means. He says it with conviction, and he comes with the truth. Let's see what this is all about. Hmm. Could be a air-like person who's not taking a course of action. We have the page of wands in reverse now. No wands of fire, energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, but he's just a messenger. He's a messenger to move on something, to take a course of action. So somebody needs to take a course of action, maybe, to end the cycle, wrap things up. Someone could be stubborn here. Or maybe somebody else would want something to end. Hmm. That's, if they don't want to end, that means they're not going to take any course of action to have it end. Could be with a water-like person. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or somebody who has these qualities. He has his emotions even keel. He's very intuitive. You know, he's the one that takes somebody else's feelings into consideration, as well as his own. Now, he is about the emotion. Here's someone who's emotionless. Facts, figures, numbers. So you get two opposite energies here. Wow. And something's not ending. And someone here is not taking a course of action. Because it's like the King of Cups is looking this way. You know, and the King of Swords looking this way. It's like they're not even addressing taking this course of action. It's like something just keeps on going. And nobody's addressing it. Whoa. Hmm. Interesting. Now, very interesting. We've got the Queen of Cups in reverse. Now, this is the counterpart. Two that ring the realm together. They think alike. They have the same outlook. But somebody's got their emotions all in check. And somebody is a, a hot mess. The Queen of Cups in the reverse is not using her intuition. Her energy, her emotions are splattered all over the place. It might be because maybe this water-like person has to make a decision between two people. And needs to take a course of action. So one of these cycles can end. Ooh. She probably sees good qualities in both of these people. And one of them could be from their past. The Six of Cups. Nostalgia. We are still in Mercury retrograde too. So things like to come back so they can end. Wrap up. 
And right under the King of Swords, you get the Two of Pentacles, the juggling act. Pro and conning. And I think that's exactly what somebody's doing here. And they, they got to take that course of action. They have to make a decision. It wouldn't be fair to either one, either this water signs or the air-like person. Huh. They get the Ten of Cups. And that's that ride, that unicorn. Emotional fulfillment at its finest. And it's right under the page of wands. Somebody's got the best of both worlds here. You know, and they get two opposite people. One probably fills up, you know, the voids of the other one, I think. And somebody doesn't want to take a course of action. Somebody doesn't want something to end because they have the best of both. Hmm. Under the King of Cups, we have the Two of Wands. Now, this is taking a brand new course of action and see what comes on the horizon. Something brand new. Of course, there's two wands there. Maybe somebody is telling somebody to pick, to choose, so they can start a, a life together. Hmm. Under the Queen of Cups, though, there's no victory in it. Still battling it. Six of Wands in the upright is overcoming a battle and being victorious. Coming back from a battle and being victorious. Accolades, recognition, props. Not winning yet and because a decision hasn't been made. If she drops one of them, then she probably thinks there is no victory in it. Only having one and not the other. Hmm. Yep. Bottom of the deck. It's all about moving forward. Now, the chariot is about moving forward, you know, with victory and success. You get that victory and success if the two sphinxes work together. Head, heart, subconscious, conscious, hopes, fears. Rain them both in and you can be successful in anything that you do. But obviously, somebody's head and heart is not on the same page and there's no moving forward. As long as somebody here doesn't make a decision between two people... Then the cycle won't end. Let's get this one, folks. Here's a cycle that won't end. It goes ongoing. Could be with an air-like person. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or somebody who takes on these properties. Somebody here is just not taking a course of action. Maybe not with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or somebody who has these qualities. Because you have a water sign, you know, in the reverse that her emotions are all over the place. And she's not using her intuition. One of these people could be someone from the past. And somebody here is juggling. Pro and conning. Who they get their happiness with. One person could be happy having both in their lives. But a course of action has to be taken. I think one of these people wants something to go forward with someone. But unless this person makes the, the call, it's going to be an ongoing battle. Who to choose? And there is no victory. I think someone feels. And somebody here has to. Move forward. Wow. So let's break this one down, folks. We've got the past coming back because the cycle has not ended. Somebody could be juggling here, an air-like person. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody has their happiness and doesn't want to take a course of action. <clears throat> But there could be a water sign involved here, too, that wants to plan a future with someone. 
And then we have a water-like person who can't make her mind up. Or him. Energy can go either way. Because she has feelings for both. And it's hard for this person to move forward. Because her head and heart aren't on the same page. Somebody here likes the generosity between three. Wow. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see you real, back here real soon. Take care.